I have known Kim Massagee for about 16 or 17 years um, when the family moved to the Alatra County area um, from South Florida and she became a 4-H volunteer. I nominated Kim because her love for kids and livestock, her dedication to our Alatra County 4-H program, and not only in Alatra County, but around the state. She carried kids to the State Dairy Show in um, Orlando. She would go to State Fair in Tampa. She went to the North Florida Fair in Tallahassee and Jacksonville. Um, I'd always said that Kim drove an excursion and it was either full of kids or full of chickens or both. So um, she just had a heart for youth. Miss Kim is more than deserving of this award. Uh, if you think of what an iconic 4-H leader is, um, my example for that would be Miss Kim, um, someone who really lives and breathes what the program is all about. Um, really giving back to the kids, caring about the kids, and not just teaching them about how to uh, raise an animal or do a certain skill, but she really was all about the whole person and developing them. And a lot of her 4-Hers too, they were with her from the time they were clover buds to seniors. And she really saw them through. Um, and the impact she had on those 4-Hers uh, for many generations is really um, it's so admirable. You just, you just don't see it very often. Like I said, whenever you think of that iconic 4-H um, leader, traditional 4-H club, she would spot on be the definition for it. The impact that Miss Kim left, it, it won't go away. Her legacy lives on on all the kids that she taught throughout the years and that she impacted. And so I just felt like we all kind of owed it to her um, to give her this recognition and also her family. They all sacrificed and gave so much to the 4-H program that I really feel like she truly deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I think it takes a special person to work with kids. Um, it takes a special person to be a 4-H volunteer. Um, you've got to have a strong desire, a strong heart, um, and Kim had that. Um, she was important to Alachua County 4-H because she meant a lot to a lot of kids. Um, because she, some of them, she was the mom that they may not have. May not have. Um, she also gave them an opportunity that some kids may not ever get. Um, and she was willing, she would do anything it took to get kids to shows, to get them to 4-H meetings, um, to get them to different workshops that she would do and conduct, state fair workshops. Um, so she just was dedicated. Early on, as an, I've been in Extension about 20 years now, and she helped me and helped reinforce that you can rely on competent volunteers to do a lot in this organization. They're the backbone of this organization. I don't know what the Alachua County Dairy 4-H program would look like without Kim Massey as a volunteer. So with good, dedicated, loving, competent volunteers like Kim, the sky's the limit of what you can accomplish in 4-H. She taught me that from her, even though I wasn't in her county, I could see the level of responsibility and dedication that she had and that people counted on her and that they could count on her. And that stuck with me throughout my whole career, that you could count on volunteers like Kim. Well, if anybody deserves to be in the 4-H Hall of Fame, it's Kim Massey. She's just lived her whole life to serve the young people of Alachua County and beyond. Even through the dairy program, she had an impact on a lot of kids statewide. You hear about people going the extra mile, she'd go like the extra 10 miles for these kids. She would just do anything, anything for the kids. I'll just say Miss Kim can never be replaced and we'll never forget her. Um, she lives on in the lives of so many kids that, you know, it's, I know it's hard that she's gone and we all miss her, um, but the legacy that she leaves behind is really amazing and remarkable. I would just say that Kim was a very special person in 4-H. Um, she was there for the kids, and, and um, I think we have a lot of kids in Alachua County that have moved on and graduated, and I saw a lot of those kids at Kim's funeral, and they um, just respected her um, as a good citizen, um, as a leader, and it's those 4-H life skills that Kim instilled in others that I will always remember. To the Massagee family, thank you so much for sharing. I know you all shared your mother with, with us, the rest of us in 4-H for many, many years, nights, weekends, 
a lot of evenings that maybe your mom had a lot of other kids that she was helping care for at that time. So we love you all and we thank you so much for sharing your mother and your family with us.